Hello everybody and welcome to the whiteboard video for experiment 3, separation of a ternary mixture. So once again I'm going to go through the procedure, I'm going to go through the experiment and the procedure, the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate a mixture. Now a mixture, if you recall from your lecture, your, le your lecture, your lecture, excuse me, a mixture is when you have more than one component in the same container, but each of those components maintains its own properties. And because they maintain their own properties, they can be separated by taking advantage of the differences in those properties. And you do this all the time. For example, when you every time you've ever made pasta, you have a mixture of noodles and water, right? And you separate it, and in that case you separate it, you use your strainer, your colander, you pour it through, and you're taking advantage of the differences in size. Water molecules are smaller than the holes, right? Noodle molecules are bigger, so in that case. In this case, you're going to have a mixture of ammonium chloride, salt, and sand. Uh, in case you can't read this, I put in the formulas. You don't need them, but it's kind of cool. Uh, NH4Cl, this says salt is sodium chloride, NaCl. Sand, silicon dioxide, SiO2. Uh, and by the way, remember, you can always hit pause on these videos if you need to look at something longer. And what the properties we're looking at are what happens when you heat it and what happens in water. So ammonium chloride, if you heat it, it sublimes. And sublimes means it goes from a solid to a gas without becoming a liquid in between, like dry ice. All right. Um, if you heat salt, you get hot salt. Nothing happens. If you heat sand, you get hot sand. Nothing really happens. In water, ammonium chloride dissolves. In water, salt dissolves. And in water, sand doesn't do anything. It just gets wet. But you can see that each of these has a unique profile. All right, a unique profile as to its behavior with these two properties. So then what we can do is we can develop a scheme, and we're also going to do what's a quantitative separation. Do it again. Let's do this, there we go. Let's erase that. Okay, we're going to do quantitative. which just means we're going to get a how much. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the percentage of each thing. So for example, the percent salt, we'll just use that, is going to be the mass of the salt over the mass of the mixture times 100. Right? These numbers will have sig figs, this will not. And you'll, you'll have each of these, and so you can do, and you'll do it for each to see that they add up to 100%. All right, so let me go through what you're going to do with this experiment experimentally. It's important that you go in the right order, uh, but there's questions about what would happen if you didn't. And there is a video on this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to weigh the mixture, just to kind of flowchart it, weigh the mixture. Then we're going to heat. All right, what we're going to do here heat, and then the ammonium chloride, I'm going to use the formula, NH4Cl, will go, and then we weigh the mixture again. And the difference between these two will be the ammonium chloride. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add water. And what that will do is that the salt will go in the water and the sand, and then we're going to filter. And this will give us the sand, and the salt will be in the water. And then what we're going to do is we're going to evaporate the water. And that will give us the dry salt. All right, so we can separate each thing. This step, when you add water, this is called an extraction because the, sand, the salt dissolves and the sand does not. And we filter it because the, the salt will be uh, in the water. All right, so what we're going to do first, we're going to take an evaporating dish. So an evaporating dish, you can look back at the um, equipment and safety module and see what an evaporating dish looks like. But basically, it's a ceramic dish, relatively shallow, like this. And we use these because um, evaporation happens at the surface. And so because it's really shallow, the surface of the end, it's really wide. There's a big surface. And so things will move out very quickly. Also. Um, uh, the, as, as things evaporate, when they touch the sides of the container, they'll cool back down, so the shallower the container is better. And then we're going to put the mixture in it. 
So this is my mix. And then we're going to weigh it, right? Then we're going to heat, we weigh. And you'll see the data for this. And we're giving you data. All right, then we're going to heat this. And then it's going to look the same. I know there's a way to copy this stuff, but I'm not going to copy it. Because I really, that's a bad one. Uh, this mixture, this will be less mixture. All right, and then the difference in those will be the mass of the um, ammonium chloride. Then the next step that we're going to do is we're going to take the mixture. So now we've got this whole thing in the evaporating dish, right? And this mixture is salt and sand. Then we're going to add water. So now take the same thing. Keeps getting, keeps changing shape. And we got this, then we add water. Now this water, this is called the supernatant. Which is literally the liquid above the solid. And the supernatant is salt water. This here is the residue. So it didn't dissolve, and it's, of course, sand. So then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a filtration apparatus. So the filtration, we're going to take a beaker. This is all on a ring stand. And then we're going to have a filter, a funnel. My inability to draw well is really going to kill me here. And this is a funnel. Piece of filter paper. And we're going to take this and we're going to pour it through. This will be supported on a ring stand. Now there's a couple of things we want to do first. We're going to take the filter paper and we're going to get it, we're going to fold it up into a cone so it'll fit in, in the funnel. Okay, so this is filter paper. And we're going to weigh the filter paper. Weigh it dry. All right? And then we're going to wet it. And, and wetting it, what it does is it makes it stick to the funnel. We're going to use deionized water because deionized water has nothing in it but water. All right, not tap water, which has dissolved ions in it. I'm just going to wet it so it sticks to the funnel, and this liquid will start flowing out. This will be the liquid that's coming out of here. Okay, and we're going to wet it so it sticks, and also it opens the pores. And then we're going to take this whole thing and we're going to pour it in. All right, um, and it gets the flow started as well. And so then what we'll have this will be the residue. which is, of course, sand. Now, after the supernatant goes through here, it changes its name. This is now called the filtrate. The filtrate is what has left after what's been filtered. And this is, of course, salt water. Now, what we're going to do with the residue is we're going to take the filter paper, and we're going to put it into a beaker. This is a weighed beaker. And then take the filter paper and put it in here. And of course the filter paper has the sand on it. And this is going to go into the oven. And then what we can do is since we know the mass of the beaker, we know the mass of the filter paper, after this is dry, we take the mass of the whole thing and we subtract out the filter paper and the beaker and you'll get the mass of the sand. All right, then what we're going to do is to take the filtrate and it's going to go back into the evaporating dish, but this time the evaporating dish will be covered. So the evaporating dish
It's going to have a watch glass sitting on top of it that we wave. And all that does is it just prevents the stuff from splattering. This is the filtrate. And we'll have the watch glass that we weighed. We already weighed the, the uh, evaporating dish a long time ago. And so then we heat this to dryness, completely dry. And then we can get from here, we can subtract out the watch glass and the um, evaporating dish, and this will give us the mass of the salt. And again, we're going to give you a lot of this data because you don't have the opportunity to do it. But it's important you do things in this order because otherwise your data can be screwy. For example, you don't want the salt and the ammonium chloride still in the same container because they're harder to separate. So anyway, there's some questions about that at the end of the lab. So this is what you need to understand what the lab is doing. This will help you prepare for the quiz that you're going to have. And then certainly, as you start working through the data, you can ask me questions during our Zoom session. Okay, um, hope that helps, and I'll see you during the Zoom session. Take care.